Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, The Beaded Jewel. I'm Rochelle, and today's video is going to be on these beautiful bracelets here. It's a, a bicone, I call it a bicone box bracelet or whatever, because um, they're like little boxes there. But aren't they gorgeous? I mean, look at this. It is just absolutely gorgeous. I did it in all different colors, like a rainbow of different colors. This is pastel colors here, but it is so gorgeous. Use a little lobster claw here for my closure. It is so pretty. A little toggle clasp on here. A little drops over here. But it's absolutely gorgeous. These work up super, super fast. Um, and it's it's just so stress-free to make it's basically one stitch going all the way around um, so what you're gonna need for this you're gonna need about 144 four mil bicones okay you're gonna need uh, size 10 or 11 C beads I'm gonna be using my silver line C beads right here okay I don't know if you can even see that because they're kind of clear I'm going to be using those you're going to need about 60 inches of the thread of your choice my thread of choice for this project is right here wildfire the 20 mil okay you can also use monofilament if you like working with that um, I, I love the effect that it gives uh, my projects but um, I just it's a little too bouncy for me to work with so it kind of uh, it's frustrating for me it might not be for you <laughs> to work with but monofilament works very well with this uh, so you can use that and your clasp of choice and I think that's it uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get started Let's get this out of the way and if you are new here welcome please consider subscribing okay so these are my beads here now I made the bracelet I'm going to finish for you today in red white and blue because Memorial Day is coming up it's my C beads right there um, so I'm just going to do a few rounds of this so you can see what to do I'm going to back this out of my camera lens get it out of the way once I let me load my needle first because if I'm working, the camera will focus on the background and it will make what I'm working on blurry. So, and there's no way I'm fixing this camera. It's very frustrating. And they said it's like a really good camera. It's not. <laughs> so anyway, the first round, I have my thread here. I feel like I'm forgetting to tell you something, but I always feel like that. <laughs> so, oh, let's get started here. The first round, let me load this up. We're going to do a C bead. I'm just looking up to see if I'm in focus here. I am, okay. A C bead, bicone, C bead, bicone, C bead, bicone, a C bead, and bicone. Come on. Okay, now I have to scoot this out of the way. So you can see. Get him a little bit closer, maybe. Okay, so that's what we have there. This is the only time you'll use the sequence of beads here. This is your, you know, the first, your first round here, your first square. So we're gonna slide it all the way to the end. And let me try to make a knot. I'm not good at making knots. My hands don't seem to work anymore. I get those pins and needles in my fingers, which is very frustrating. Come on. Let's see how this works. Okay, I think I got it. There we go. So there you go. There's your first square. <laughs> So, 
We're coming out of where we're coming out of that bicone lip right here. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go through the C bead, the next bicone, and that next C bead right here. And this is what we got so far. This is what our first round looks like. Okay. So I'm just going to turn it instead, instead of it being on an angle, I'm going to turn it so it's square, like that. And we're going to be going in from here to that C bead over there. So and this is what our needle will look like when it's loaded up. One bicone, one C bead, one bicone. This is the sequence going forward to your completely completely finish this bracelet right here. This is it. Okay. So we're coming out of here. We're going to go right into this bicone right up here. Come on. And you can turn it as you work. And it should go in and sit. Just pull it up and it should sit right up there. Okay. Now I'm going to turn it again because we're going to be going from the CB that we're coming out of to the one right on top. Okay. So here we go. Oops. A little of my CB. Bicone, CB. Bicone. Okay. I'm trying to hold it so my fingers don't cover it all up. So we're coming out of there. We're going to go to the C bead right on top there. Okay. Hold it nice and firm. And just pull that together. It should sit right on top there. Okay, so we have our first little set of square there. It's just a little square. Okay. And so we're coming out of here. We have to step up. We're going to step up to the next bicone and that next C bead. Okay. And just pull it nice and taut. Okay, and we're ready to start our next round. Okay, so we're coming out of this C bead. You're going to be going right into that next C bead there. And that's how it is all the way going forward. I'm just going to turn it so it's easier for me to work with. Okay, going to load the needle back up. One bicone. C bead. Come on. C bead. And a bicone. <clears throat> okay. And we're going to go right into that C bead right there. This is going to go back on top. We'll just fall right in. Okay, so I'm going to turn it. Because we're coming out of here, we're going to go right into that C bead up top again. See how quickly this works up? It's like one stitch. Come on, all the way to the end of the bracelet. Oops, come on. There it goes. Okay. Let's see how that's looking. And then we have to step up. So we're going to go into that bicone and into that next C bead. 
pull it nice and taut. Okay, and then we're ready to do our next round. Okay. And here is our next round. We're going to go right to the CB, right across from it. This is what we have so far. I'm going to turn it because we're coming out of here. We're going to go right into that seed bead right there. should fall right into place. Okay. And that's it. Okay. So you're going to keep doing that. You can see I have my two squares there. That's what it looks like from this side. That's the top. So I have my two squares there. So I'm going to stop there. You can just, uh, rewind the video okay and then we're going to add on a clasp so this is my completed bracelet okay you can see that I've let me see here I already added on my clasp right here now I've seen um, some clasps done differently on here but this is the cleanest looking way. I really like this, how this is done here. Okay. So let's get started over here. Let me thread my needle. And I'll show you how I do my clasp. Okay. So I'm already coming out of the side here. Okay, this is the end. This is the top of the end, it's the side. Just um, finish it with your needle coming out of the side there. Okay. So then we're going to take 10 C beads. And there's 10. I'm going to take 10 C beads. And you're just going to jump in over to that other side of C bead. Just going to hop right on over there, pull that through, use this. Fingers aren't working. Okay. And then you got your little, say. Okay. So then we're going to reinforce this, go back and forth a few, few times. I'm going to get back through here. I'm going to go th through the other side of that little CB there. Let's pull it through. And go back through here. Just to reinforce it.
Okay, so that's reinforced. Okay, and then I'll just weave all this in. Okay, so I feel that it is secure. I'll just weave it in through the bi combs, the sea bead, do a little, a little um, half stitch knot, okay, to, to secure that. But I'm not going to do that right now on camera because um, the video, video will be too long. Okay, so in the meantime, I'm just going to attach the other part of my clasp. easy peasy and just put it on there I'll have to open it up a little more and you just want to tighten that up and uh, there you go it's on there Okay, and you can add some cute little things on the end there like I did here on this one if you want to. I'm not going to do it here because it will take too long. You can add that on there, but um, yeah, I actually might add another jump ring on here on this end. So. But that's it. That's all you do. And there you go. You got your little, maybe I won't, it went on very well. You got your little, your bracelet. Okay. So I'm just going to weave the rest of this through. And that is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you find it helpful, please give it the thumbs up so pretty and these are not uh, crystals I think these are just glass beads okay now this is these are Procosa crystals here so uh, and that's it so um, stay tuned for more videos and if you have anything you would like to see me uh, do any requests for anything special just uh, Leave a comment below and um, I will see you back here soon. And check out my store. Uh, we are on Etsy. Let's see here, let me put this in here. We're on Etsy, Poshmark, Macari, and our Shopify store, the beautyjewelstore.com. Okay. And thank you so much for taking your time to watch our video. We appreciate it. And we will see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.